And good evening, everybody. It's baseball time in Wichita, live from the campus of Wichita State University, Tyler Field and X Stadium. I'm Todd Hook bringing you live NBC action powered by Evergy. Tonight we have a dandy. The Santa Barbara Foresters will take on the Denver Cougars. Cougars won a game yesterday, 6-5 to five in extras over the Rose Hill Sluggers. So let's look at the Santa Barbara lineup. They are the visiting team. Here's how they will go. Matt McLean will lead it off and play shortstop. Jace Young will hit second and play second base. Christian Incarnacion will uh, be the designated hitter and hit third. Brandon Bossier will hit fourth and play first base. Noah Cardenas will do the catching and hit fifth. Ryan Holgate will be in right field and hit sixth. Hitting seventh is Sean McLean. He will be over at third base. Casey Dykstra will hit eighth and play center field. And rounding out the order is Patrick Caulfield. He will be in left. Again, that is Matt McLean, Jace Young, Encarnacion, Bossier, Cardenas, Holgate, Sean McLean, Dykstra and Caulfield. So there's your starting lineup for the Santa Barbara Foresters. They are out of the California Collegiate League. However, that league uh, did not play this year, so they played an independent schedule. They played 30 games all at home in front of no fans. So they were a last-minute addition to the, to the tournament, and we're ready to go about – Seven minutes till the hour of 9 o'clock. Here's Matt McLean out of UCLA. And he takes the first one low, ball one. 13 games for the Bruins last spring and hit 397 with three homers. That is into center field. That is McKesson back near the track, looking up and gone. So Matt McLean shows some power in the leadoff spot with a solo homer. And the Santa Barbara Foresters lead it one to nothing. Defensively for the Denver Cougars left to right in the outfield, Torrance, McKisson, and Turner. Priest over at third base, Pract at short, Hamilton at second base, Pennington at first. Peguero is doing the catching. And the first pitch to Jace Young upstairs, ball one. Andrew Corso out of Cabrini doing the pitching. Tall, lanky right-hander. And it's two balls and no strikes. Made three appearances last spring and had a 1.93 ERA, so good numbers for Corso. He will need him tonight. Young, the second baseman out of Texas Tech, 19 games for the Red Raiders, hit 264. BJ's took care of the Monarchs two to nothing over in Hutch tonight. That's in there for a strike, and it's three and one. Absolutely stunning night for baseball here in southern Kansas, 75 degrees. That is bounced foul. That is unheard of. That's at least 15 degrees cooler than average. What wind we do have is out of the east at 9, blowing in from right field. That is ripped foul into the Forester's dugout. I like to call it the old knucklehead finder. Three balls and two strikes. And the pitch up and away, and he'll walk him. So not the start that Corso has envisioned. A home run and a walk. That'll bring up Christian Encarnacion. Encarnacion in the DH spot today, hitting third out of Yavapai. 25 games, 11 homers, hit 430. Yes, you heard me right, 430 in 25 games. And the pitch is swung on and missed. One ball and one strike. Thanks for the kind words, Tommy. Always good to have a listener. 
That is into right field. And that Turner going back, and it'll get over his head and bounce over the wall. So it'll be second and third. So a little unlucky for the Foresters. I think if that is off the wall, I think uh, Young scores. But instead, it's second and third. And still nobody out. So Corso is going to need to get ahead and be able to go with some soft stuff, everything that's been... Hard has been hit hard. That misses inside. Here's Brandon Bossier out of the University of Arizona. 12 games last spring, hit 327. This is like murderer's row here. Misses inside, and it's two balls and no strikes. Longtime Santa Barbara manager Bill Pintard. In the dugout tonight. Foresters have a lot of history at this tournament. We'll get to that as we go along. 91 and 27 overall in this tournament. And the 3 0 is upstairs. No, it's not. So Bossier thought it was ball four, but looks like uh, it's going to be a strike at the letters. And it's three and one. So we'll see if Corso can get healthy right here. Looks like the center fielder and right fielder are playing pretty deep, which I'm thinking is pretty appropriate. We've been burnt twice. And the three one into right field. And Turner over near the line on the run and will get it. Both runners will tag. Young will score. And Incarnacion over to third. There's one away. So two to nothing, Santa Barbara. That'll bring up the catcher, Noah Cardenas. So Vigero out to talk to him. Conference over, we're ready to go. Cardenas out of UCLA, hit 237 in 11 games for the Bruins. Absolutely stunning night for baseball. If you're in your area, come on out. Just underway in game two. And Corso takes a little off, and Cardenas swings through it, strike one. balls and a strike and here it is just a bit outside pretty good fastball at 86 just missed it's one and one two to nothing Santa Barbara top of the first that's in the dirt and that'll get by the catcher Pagaro and the run will score so three to nothing, Santa Barbara on the wild pitch. And just one away. Bases are clear. Two balls and a strike. And the pitch. Swung on and missed. Looked like a little cut fastball. 2-2 Two -two to Cardenas. Foresters have finished in the top three ten times in this tournament. Slider misses away. It's full. They have won it all. Great chance to do that again. That is bounced foul. Count remains three and two.
Three balls, two strikes, one out. And the pitch is upstairs, and he'll lose him. So the second walk of the ball game issued by Corso. Cardenas is aboard with one out. We'll bring up Ryan Holgate. He'll step in from the left side. He's out of the University of Arizona. Hit 377 in 15 games. Starting to see a trend here. First one at the letter, strike one. And the 01 took a little off. That is in there. 02. Andrew Corso out of Cabrini University. Several Denver players are from that institution. Three to nothing Foresters. That's outside, one and two. And that's inside slider. They're going to check, see if he went around. He did not. Looked like he held up. Pretty tight slider there from Corso. Two balls, two strikes, one away. Three runs across. Top of the first. Appreciate everybody tuning in. That is upstairs and in, and it's full. So Corso throwing a lot of pitches, facing his sixth hitter of the inning. Throw over, he's back in there. Holgate out of Davis, California. And the runner goes, great jump, and ripped foul. Just over the bullpen. Count remains full, three and two, one away. Cardenas was off, had a great jump. Looked kind of like a modified delayed steal with not much delay on it. And the pitch, fisted, popped up right side. That'll be Hamilton. He will come in and get it. And there's two away. So with two down, that'll bring up Sean McLean. McLean out of Arizona State got into five games last spring. Did not record a hit. So he'll be up there with two outs, a runner on. And the first pitch, a fastball misses wide. Ball one. And the runner goes, swung on and missed. And he'll be down to second base without a throw. Got to wonder if that might be a stolen base or defensive indifference. We'll see how they score it. Nonetheless, Cardenas down to second base. And a slow roller to the right side. First baseman Pennington will flip to Corso covering, and that'll do it. Santa Barbara will strand one. And they will, we will go to the bottom of the first. And Santa Barbara leads it three to nothing. This is the 86th NBC World Series powered by Evergy. We'll be right back.
And welcome back. We go to the bottom of the first. Santa Barbara gets three in the top. They lead it three to nothing. Here's how the Denver Cougars will go. Chase Hamilton will lead it off and play second base. Josh Torrance will hit second and play left field. Matt Turner will hit third and play right. In the cleanup spot will be Steve Priest. He will be over at third base. Hitting fifth, Carter Pennington will be over at first base. Braden Bosever will be the designated hitter and hit sixth. Carson Pract will be the shortstop and hit seventh. Henry Pagaro will do the catching and hit eighth. Rounding out the order is the center fielder, Matt McKisson. Again, that is Hamilton, Torrance, Turner, Priest, Pennington, Bosever, Pract, Pagaro, and McKisson. Left to right in the outfield for the Foresters, Caulfield, Dykstra, and Holgate. Sean McLean at third, Matt McLean at short. Young at second, Bossier at first, Cardina's doing the catching, and out of UCLA, it'll be Nick Mastrini. First pitch is swung on and missed. That's Chase Hamilton. He's out of Colorado Mesa. 12 games last spring, hit 372. It's in there at the knees. It's 0 and 2. Pretty good fastball at 85 from Nastrini. And the 0-2 is just a bit outside. Pretty good 0-2 pitch. And it's 1-2. and two. Cougars are managed by Mark Sorello. And that swung on a miss. Took just a smidge off, and that'll be a strikeout. And there's one away. So it'll bring up Josh Torrance. Right-handed hitter out of Southwest Baptist. 240 in 17 games, hitting 221 this summer. First pitch in there at the knees at 93. Denver out of the Rocky Mountain Baseball League. And it's foul straight back. That one at 94. 16 and 9 in the league this past summer, 18 and 13 overall. Three to nothing Foresters were in the bottom of the first. And the 0-2. That is slow roller up the middle. That'll be the shortstop McLean. And over to first in time. And there's one away. One out here's Josh Torrance. Correction, that's Matt Turner. Wonder how long I was asleep. So two outs, here's Turner. Out of Colorado Mesa. He's on his way to Maryville next fall. Don't have any numbers on him. Swung on and missed. One ball and one strike. Steve Priest is next if Turner was to reach. And that is fouled away. Got a piece of Cardenas. He looks to be okay. Cougars hitting 298 as a team this summer. And given up almost five runs per game. They're at 4.87 as a staff. Ball and two strikes. Turner taking his time. He's ready. Here it is. And fastball misses outside at 94. So Nastrini with a little bit of giddy up on the fastball. Two two. Little change of pace. 
and just gets a piece. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, nobody on. Swung on and missed, and that'll do it. So the Cougars go in order. We've played one. Forrester's three, Cougars nothing. This is the 86th World Series, powered by Evergy. We'll be right back. And welcome back. A little foot loose at the ballpark. Eight, nine, and one schedule for the Foresters. They lead it three to nothing. They got three in the top of the first. Dykstra, Caulfield, and Matt McLean expected. And the first pitch in there for a strike to Dykstra. He's out of Azusa Pacific. Couldn't find any hitting stats on him. Did make two appearances on the mound. Gave up three runs. And it's 0-2 now to Dykstra, the center fielder. Any relation to the late Lenny Dykstra? That swung on and missed. He had a nice hack. Just missed. And there's one away. First strike out of the ball game for Corso. He faced seven men in the first. Here's the left fielder, Patrick Caulfield. Out of UCLA, hit 302 for the Bruins in 13 games. That's a two-hopper to the shortstop, Pract. He's up with it on the run, over, and just gets him. So there's two up and two down. Good news for Corso. He needed a quick one. Top of the order, here's Matt McLean. Deposited one over the center field fence. First time up, so he's one for one. Out of UCLA. And an off-speed pitch in there at the letter. Strike one. So you got to wonder what kind of strategy Corso will provide the second time through. Something tells me these hitters are going to adjust. That is swung on and missed, and McLean way out ahead of it. And he's behind 0-2. That's bounced to the shortstop. Pract will get it on the high hop, long throw up the line, and was able to apply the tag. So Pennington goes up the line, gets it, applies the tag, and that'll do it. Foresters go in order. We've played one and a half. They lead it three to nothing. This is the 86th NBC powered by Evergy. We'll be right back.
And welcome back. We go to the bottom of the second with Garth Brooks. It'll be four, five, and six for the Cougars. They trail three to nothing to the San Diego Foresters. Actually, that's Santa Barbara Foresters. My apologies. That's a long ways away. Priest Pennington and Bossier ready, ready to go. First pitch swinging is hit a mile in the air. That'll be the right fielder, Holgate, coming in and will get it. And there's one away. Cougars went in order in the first. And one pitch and one out. Good for Nestrini, who struck out two in the first. Here's Carter Pennington. Pennington out of Napa Valley. And the first one is wide ball one. From what I could find on him, he played in 30 games in 2019, hit 341. So nice numbers for Carter over at first base tonight. That misses low and away. Nice fastball at 93 from Nestrini. Two balls, no strikes, one away. Bottom of the second. That's a bit up. So three balls and no strikes to Pennington. And the 3-0 is inside, and you walk him on four pitches. So a little out of character for Nestrini. Pennington is on with one away. That'll bring up the designated hitter. It'll be Braden Boisevert out of Scottsdale Community College. Hit 270 last spring. First pitch to him is away, so that's five in a row out of the zone from Nestrini. And a 1-0, swung on and missed. So a nice, sharp slider from Nestrini. It's one and one. Nestrini, a quick worker. Run at first base, one away. And the pitch catches the inside corner, a little backdoor curveball. Pretty good pitch, one and two. The winner will play the Liberal BJs Thursday right here. One and two, that is fisted foul. And the loser will play tomorrow. They'll play the Hattiesburg Black Sox. Ball and two strikes. And here it is. A little change of pace. Just got a piece of it. So a 79 mile an hour change up from Nestrini. Coach Kemnitz always used to say 12 to 14 mile an hour difference between your hard stuff and your soft stuff, and you should have some success, and that's exactly what Nestrini is doing tonight. 1-2. Swung on and missed. Got him with a fastball, and there's two away. Third strikeout of the evening for Nestrini. That'll bring up Carson Pract. Local guy out of Barton Community College. Hit 33-33 in 21 games. So he was having a good spring when they shut her down. Don't get me started. That is a soft liner and caught by Young. Goes hard to his left, and that'll do it for the Cougars. We have played two. Our score remains three to nothing. Foresters, this is the 86th annual NBC tournament powered by Evergy. We'll be right back.
And welcome back as we go to the third. We need to remind you that MedZone Hand Sanitizers offers high quality hand sanitizers for your office and home. MedZone Hand Sanitizers are non-sticky, smell great, and effective. They help your office get the right sizes and amounts of hand sanitizers in a simple and convenient program for your office. MedZone is a proud supporter of collegiate baseball and the NBC World Series. Go to www.medzone.net to learn more on how MedZone can help your office with a custom hand sanitizer program. Again, that is MedZone. Top of the third, we go. Two, three, and four for the Foresters, Young, Encarnacion, and Bossier. Count no balls and a strike to Young. Walked and scored in the first. He's out of Texas Tech. And the 0-1. That is lifted to the right side, and that'll get a long ways out of play and into the parking lot. So Young got the most of that one. And that misses, and it's one and two. Cheney Do Diamond Dogs took care of the Colorado Cyclones in our previous game, five to three. Off-speed pitch, they're gonna check, see if he went around, and he did. So Young will strike out. Second strike out of the ball game for Andrew Corso. BJ's got by the Hutchinson Monarchs over in Hutch earlier tonight, two to nothing. And the KC Club Association, 11 to 10 winner over the Houston Prospects. Here's Christian Encarnacion, first pitch swinging and bounce foul. That got a piece of Cardenas. Actually, that's Pagaro. We're going to come out and have a look at him. He's down on his knees. Catchers are tough cookies, folks. Seems like every year pitchers are asking them to block more and more pitches in addition to the pitches that are fouled off. So he's up. A lot of equipment on, but baseball always seems to find that area that's not protected. Encarnacion out of Yavapai hit 430 last spring. Folks, that's a career. No balls and a strike. Off-speed pitch misses inside. It's one and one. One out top of the third. Three to nothing, Foresters. That is hit a mile in the air. Looks like Torrance, the left fielder, will get it. And there's two away. Forsters went in order in the second. They are threatening to do that again here in the third. Here's Brandon Bossier, University of Arizona product. 0 for 1 tonight, flew out in the first. And the pitch, off-speed pitch in there. Nice change up at 73 from Corso. No balls and a strike. Two away, nobody on. That is into center field. McKisson over to his right. He'll get it, and that'll do it. So the Foresters go in order again. And we've played two and a half. Our score remains three to nothing. Santa Barbara. This is the 86th NBC World Series powered by Evergy. And we'll be right back.
And welcome back. We go to the bottom of the third. Cougars trail the Foresters three to nothing. Eight, nine, and one scheduled for the Cougars. Pagaro, McKisson, and Hamilton scheduled. Here's Henry Pagaro. Doing the catching tonight. He's out of Cabrini. Takes a hack at the first one. Strike one. That is swung on and missed. He's in the hole 0 and 2. Hit 324 in 2019. Couldn't find any 220 numbers. So he will swing and miss, and that'll do it for Pagaro. Fourth strike out of the ball game for Nostrini. And there's one away. Here's the nine-hole man, Mac McKisson. Also out of Cabrini. Playing center field tonight. So a right on left matchup. One away, nobody on. And he takes a hack at a 93 mile an hour fastball and comes up empty. Nostrini four starts last spring for the Bruins. Two and one and a 4.60 ERA. Took a little off and McKisson way out ahead of it. Nice numbers for McKisson. Hit 327 before they shut it down. 0-2, one away, nobody on. That is squirted foul. Left side. Bottom of the third, three to nothing, Santa Barbara. Off-speed pitch misses inside. It's one and two. Just past 9.30 in the central time zone. That's 7.30 for you folks out there in California. We appreciate you tuning in. Let us know where you're watching from. You can send me a tweet at HookBats. Quick conference for Cardenas. Two balls and two strikes, one away. Cougars went in order in the first, four men to the plate in the second. That's high and away, and it's full. When the Nostrini misses, it's not by much. 3 2. That is a one hopper to the second baseman, Young. He's up with it. Over to first. Gets the speedy McKisson, and there's two away. Top of the order for the Cougars. Here's Chase Hamilton. Strikeout victim in the first. He's 0 for 1 out of Colorado Mesa. Nice numbers before they shut it down. 372. And tried to check. He swing went around. Strike one. And the 0 1. Just a bit outside. They're going to check. And didn't go. That's one and one. Two outs, bottom of the third, nobody on. Three to nothing, Foresters. And a one one. He was fooled. Nice change of pace at 81, and it's one and two. Nostrini changes pace very well. Nobody's really looked comfortable in the box tonight. Here's a one, two. Swung on and missed. Gets him with a fastball, and that'll do it. Cougars go in order, and we have played three. Three to nothing, Foresters. This is the 86th NBC World Series, powered by Evergy. We'll be right back.
And welcome back. We go to the fourth. All Santa Barbara so far. They got three in the first. Been silenced in the last two. Corso starting to go with soft stuff early and change speeds a lot more frequently. Five, six, and seven for the Foresters, Cardenas, Holgate, and Sean McLean. And the first pitch misses just outside. One ball, no strikes. And that hit him. So Corso plunks Cardenas. So those are the things that the Cougars are going to have to avoid, those type of mistakes. Going to have to handle the baseball. Pitch to contact. Here is Ryan Holgate. 0 for 1 tonight. Takes the first one upstairs, ball one. Colgate out of the University of Arizona. 377 in 15 games this last spring. They play him a bit to pull, a lot of room in left center. That has popped up in the infield. We'll see who will make the play. It looks like it will be the third baseman, Priest, in front of the mound, and he will get it. That was a big league pop-up. Good play by Priest, and there's one away. That'll bring up Sean McLean. Runner at first base, big lead, throw over. Looked like he had him leaning. That's Cardenas over there. Three to nothing, Foresters. We're in the top of the fourth. That is into center field, and that'll get down and passed. McKisson, he was in no man's land. A run will score. The ball will go all the way to the wall. They are going to send him. And here's the relay. Throw to the plate. Not in time. And an inside the Parker for Sean McLean. So McKisson came in, thought maybe he could get it on the shoe hop, but once he realized it was not going to be caught, tried to block it. And it went over his head. So five to nothing now, Foresters, with one out. And Dykstra with the bunt left side and will beat it out. So Casey Dykstra with a very well-placed bunt. Not in time, so that'll be a base hit. He's one for two. Here's Patrick Caulfield out of UCLA. Throw over. Dykstra back in there. Pretty big lead over there. And the pitch. Off-speed pitch catches the outside corner. Strike one. 0-1-1 one, one to Caulfield. Out of UCLA. And the throw back over. No balls and a strike. One away. Here's the 0-1. That is into right field. Turner over near the line. He will get it. And there are two away. Top of the order, here's Matt McLean. One for two, a homer in the first. Bounced out to the left side in the second. And the first pitch to him. A little off-speed pitch fouled away. That got a piece of Pagaro. He's going to walk around muttering to himself.
Umpire going to go out and talk about it. Give Peguero a little bit of time to walk it off, figure out where he's at, what his purpose is. Appears to be okay. He's a tough guy back there. No balls and a strike. Two away, runner at first. Dykstra runs well, beat out that bunt by about a step. Kind of an opened stance over there at first base. You got to think maybe his first step is a crossover. Maybe he'll run and he'll let us know that. One ball, one strike, two away. Five to nothing now, Santa Barbara. That is into right field. Coming hard is Turner, and he'll get it at the shoe tops, and that'll do it for the Foresters. They get two, strand one. We've played three and a half. It's five to nothing, Foresters. This is the 86th NBC, powered by Evergy. We will be right back. And welcome back. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Foresters get a couple in the top. They lead it five to nothing. Two, three, and four for the Cougars. Torrance, Turner, and Priest scheduled. Mastrini out for his fourth inning. He has struck out five. He has settled in nicely. If he's any more comfortable, there'll be a lawn chair out there. And the first pitch swung on and fouled back. Torrance 0 for 1, bounced out left side in the first. He's out of Southwest Baptist. 221 on the summer for Torrance. Off-speed pitch catches the inside corner. It's 0-2. Torrance, the left fielder, he's fooled on it. Bobbled by the catcher. And Cardin is up with it. Goes inside and throws a dart. And that's strikeout number six. There's one away. Here's the right fielder, Matt Turner, out of Colorado Mesa. 0 for 1 with a strikeout in the first. Five to nothing, Santa Barbara. And a fastball at 91 misses just a bit away. Cougars hitting 298 as a team. Pretty stingy in the run department, too, giving up 4.8 runs a game. We're going to see if he went around. He did not, and it's two balls and no strikes. And the pitch inside almost hit him. That's three balls and no strikes. Here's the 3-0. Right down the middle, three and one. Mastrini, as soon as he gets that ball, he gets the sign and throws it back. You gotta like that. Three one, swung on and missed. And it's three and two. That was a fastball. You gotta wonder if he might come back with that. Don't wanna speed his bat up in any way. 
Looking for strikeout number seven right here. Here's a 3-2. That is in there. He will take an off-speed pitch on the inside corner, and there's two away. That is strikeout number seven. Two away here, Steve Priest. And the pitch. And swung on and missed. Nice fastball. And it's 0-1. Priest 0 for 1. Flew out in the second. He's out of Cabrini. No balls. One strike. Two away. Nobody on. And that's outside. 1-1. One and one. one ball. One strike. Two away. That paints the outside corner. It's one and two. Looked like a little cut fastball. He took a little bit off. Had some nice late movement on it. And the one, two. Swung on and missed, and that's strikeout number eight. Cougars go in order, and the Nestrini strikes out the side. We have played four. Five to nothing, Foresters. This is the 86th NBC World Series, powered by Evergy. We'll be right back. And welcome back. We go to the fifth, two, three, and four for the Foresters. They lead it five to nothing. Be Young, Encarnacion, and Bossier. Corso out for inning number five. Really hasn't pitched that poorly, but both his hit by pitch and his walk did score. So that'll make a big difference. Looks like we had the music run a little bit long. So here is Jace Young. Bounces the first one foul, strike one. 0 for 1 today, a walk, a run scored, and a strikeout. He's out of Texas Tech. And the 0-1 is swung on and missed. That was in his kitchen in a hurry. No balls, two strikes to Young. And it's high and away, not the best of 0-2 pitches. And it's 1-2. and two. Top five, nobody out, nobody on. Five to nothing, Foresters. It's inside, almost hit him. And it's 2-2. Two, two. two balls, two strikes. Corso with the pitch. That swung on and missed. A nice change of pace. Tag applied, and there's one away. Strikeout number three on the evening for Andrew Corso. Here's Christian Encarnacion. Doubled and scored in the first, flew out in the third. He's one for two. And the first pitch swung on or missed, strike one. He's out of Yava Pie. Hit 11 homers this last spring before they shut it down. It's probably good for all the opponents that they shut it down. One ball, one strike, one away. And that is drilled down the left side. Foul. That'll be down in the batting cages. So it's one and two to Encarnacion.
Three strikeouts on the night for Corso. Here it is. That is fouled away right side. A little defensive swing. In Canarsie on the designated hitter tonight. Here's a one two. A little bouncer foul left side. Looked like a curveball that didn't do much, kind of hung up there. Here's a one and two. Fastball just missed outside. Looked like a changeup, actually. Two and two. They play in Canarcion straight away. That is into center field. McKisson back near the track, looking up. Gone. So Christian in Canarcion takes a two pitch, two pitch over the 375 sign, and it is six to nothing Foresters. Third home run of the evening for the Foresters. Well, looks like we're going to have a mound visit. And let's do a little this day in baseball history, shall we? We're going to go back to August the 4th, 1993. You guys probably already know what's, what I'm going to tell you. August the 4th, 1993, Robin Ventura got a wild hair to charge the mound with Nolan Ryan out there. Well, let's just say the old man took care of business and finished the ball game. So that's your... This day in baseball history brought to you by hookbats.com. Good wood for good hitters since 2005. So the Ryan Ventura went one round. <laughs> so here is Brandon Bossier. And the first pitch to him in there for a strike, a little change of pace. He seems to have a lot more success when he gets the soft stuff over early, gives him a lot more opportunities. Six to nothing, Foresters. That is a one hopper to the first baseman, backhanded by Pennington. He will take it himself, and there's two away. Two out, here's Noah Cardenas out of UCLA. Walked in the first, hit by a pitch, and scored in the fourth. Takes one inside, ball one. And here's the 1-0. That swung on and missed. Took a little off, and it's one and one. One ball, one strike, two away. Top half of the fifth, six to nothing. That just misses high and away, and it's two and one. Armed Forces Day here at the old ballpark. We want to honor our soldiers anytime we get a chance. That swung on and missed. Another changeup from Corso. And it's 2-2. Appreciate all those who are serving or have served. Wind is absolutely calm at the moment. Might want to take a picture of that flag. 2-2. Two -two. That is through the right side, just past the diving Hamilton into right field and a hard turn at first base. And Cardenas... Gets his first base hit of the ball game. That's how you stretch those singles into doubles by going hard to first on that. One bobble and he's in there. So two outs runner at first base. Here's Ryan Holgate. 0 for 2 tonight. 
Popped out both both times up. He's 0 for 2. And the runner goes. That is ripped. Foul. Wow. Runner was going. Holgate was hacking. Just missed the umpire who was on the line over by first base. If that had hit him, it had probably killed him. Cardenas with about a three-step jump on that pitch before Corso even delivered the baseball. A throw over, he's back in there. So Corso is going to have to do a better job of varying his looks to home plate to keep those base runners silent. Any Anytime you can hold the baseball for a few seconds, then he, that happened again. So Cardenas with about a three-step jump before he went to home plate. Corso's going to have to stop, step off and chase him back from time to time. Going to have to give his catcher a chance to throw him out. No balls, two strikes. Throw back over, Cardenas back in there. Runs well for a catcher. Usually catchers are running uphill into the wind. Six to nothing, Foresters. We're in the top of the fifth. And they step off. Looks like they got him hung up. They're going to run him back. Pitcher is in the mix. And they complete the rundown in about three too many throws, but they get her done. So the Foresters are done in the top of the fifth. They get one. Our new score, six to nothing, Foresters. This is the 86th NBC powered by Evergy. We'll be right back. And welcome back. We go to the home half of the fifth. And the Foresters get one in the top. They lead it six to nothing. Five, six, and seven scheduled for the Cougars. Nastrani out there for inning number five. We got him somewhere around 47 pitches, according to my crack staff. And the first pitch swinging is Carter Pennington. That's out of play. He's out of Napa Valley. Change of pace, swung through it, and it's 0-2. Pennington out of Littleton, Colorado. O2. That is swung on and missed. Dropped by Cardenas. Count remains, no balls, two strikes. 
Winner will play Thursday right here. And loser will play tomorrow here. They will play Hattiesburg. Winner will play the Liberal BJs. One ball and two strikes. Nobody out bottom of the fifth. All Foresters. And that is inside. They're going to say that he went around. Looked like it was a combination of defensive swing and trying to get out of the way. But he definitely went, and that is strikeout number nine. So with one away, here's Braden Boisevert out of Scottsdale. First pitch, swung on and missed. He's 0 for 1 today. Strikeout victim in the second. Hit 270 last spring at Scottsdale. Out of Sonolta, Arizona. Sonoida. My apologies. Maybe we ought to need to invest in bigger fawn around here. Or get younger announcers, one of the two. One ball, one strike to the designated hitter. And the pitch, a little change of pace right down the middle. And so far, Nostrini is just having his way with the Cougar hitters. A little drag strip going on on 21st Street, so a ball game and a drag race. And the one two is outside. Cougars still looking for their first hit of the ball game. Two balls, two strikes, one away. And that's in there for strike three. So that is strikeout number 10. And there's two away. Two outs, here's Carson Pract. Hitless today, lined out to the right side in the second. He's 0 for 1. And pitch is popped up out of play. Well, that is in the club area. Was not caught, should have been caught. I don't think you can give fans an error. And the 0 1 misses away, and it's 1 and 1. Cougars 16 and 9 this past summer in their league, 18 and 13 overall. That's swung on and missed. So Nestrini got. Struck everybody out in the fourth, and he struck out everybody here in the fifth. Can he do it two in a row? That is bounced left side. McLean up with it, over to first, and that'll do it. So the Cougars go in order, and we have played five. Score six to nothing, Foresters. This is the 86th NBC tournament powered by Evergy. We will be right back.
and welcome back. We go to the sixth. I just want to remind you that MedZone Hand Sanitizer is the official hand sanitizer of the NBC World Series. It's non-sticky, smells great, and is effective. Proud supporters of collegiate baseball and the NBC World Series. Go to www.medzone.net to learn more about American-made hand sanitizers for home and office. So here we go. Top of the six, six, seven, and eight for the Foresters. They lead it six to nothing. Holgate was up there when uh, Cardenas was picked off, so he'll get another crack at it. One ball, no strikes, and it's now 2-0. Holgate hitless tonight, 0 for 2. He's out of the University of Arizona. And a 2-0. In there for a strike at the belt. It's two and one. Two balls and a strike. That is popped up. That's going to be the shortstop Pract. He will make the play right in front of the bag at second. And there's one away. Six to nothing Foresters. They get three in the first, two in the fourth, and one in the fifth. Here's Sean McLean. Inside the park, home run in the fourth. He's one for two. Drove in a couple. And the off-speed pitch misses away. One ball, no strikes. One away, nobody on. And that hit him. So Corso out there for his sixth inning. And he hits his second batter. So with a runner aboard, that'll bring up Casey Dykstra. Infield hit in the fourth, beat out a bunt to the left side. Runner at first base, not a very big lead. That's inside, almost hit him. And the throw over, he's back in there. And the 1-0 runner goes inside. And he'll steal it. Piguero unable to find the handle. Good pitch to run on. Guessed a off-speed pitch. So a stolen base for Sean McLean. He's at second base with one away. Dykstra out of Azusa Pacific. That is down the left field line. Torrance going out near the track, looking up. And gone. So a two-run homer for Dykstra. He goes the other way, right over the left field foul pole. And it is now eight to nothing, Foresters. Third home run given up by Corso. And that'll bring up Patrick Caulfield with one out. Pretty good piece of hitting by Dykstra. Just hit it right where it was pitched. Hit it right down the line. Caulfield shows bunt and foul. Hitless tonight, 0 for 2. No balls in a strike. One out. Top six. Eight to nothing, Foresters. And the 0-1. Foul straight back. Crowd groaning. Somebody must have booted one. One thing I've noticed about the NBC crowd, they will give an honest assessment. If a fan makes a good play, they're going to applaud it. But on the other end, if it should be caught, they're going to let them know too. 
That's fouled away 0 and 2. Absolutely stunning night for baseball. Temperature in the low 70s. That is into right field. Turner over to his left, and he'll get it, and that'll do it. That is number out number two. My apologies. That is two away. Top of the order here is Matt McLean. One for three with a homer in the first. And the first pitch catches the outside corner, 0-1. Pretty good pitch there from Corso. And a little change of pace. He's out ahead of it. It's 0-2. Two. two runs across here in the top of the sixth. Eight to nothing, Santa Barbara. And the 1-1, swung on and missed, and he'll get him. And that'll do it for Santa Barbara. We've played five and a half. They get two. Our new score, eight to nothing, Foresters. This is the 86th NBC, powered by Evergy. We'll be right back. And welcome back. We're to the home half of the sixth. Foresters get a couple in the top. They now lead it eight to nothing. Eight, nine, and one scheduled for the Cougars. Pagero, McKisson, and Hamilton scheduled. Mastrini out for inning number six. He is cruising. Last three innings have been in order and faced a minimum. The only time he faced above the minimum was the second. He faced four batters and walked a man. 1-0. That swung on and missed. Peguero 0 for 1. Strikeout victim in the third. He's out of Cabrini. 333 in the summer, so nice numbers. And the 1-1 is in there. Like a straight change. Caught the inside corner. It's 1-2. and two. And the one and two is swung on and missed, and that's strikeout number 11 for Nostrini. So Nostrini has struck out the last seven batters. Actually, the last eight. So here's Mac McKisson. One out. That is ripped down the right field line and will get down. So the Cougars get the first hit, their first hit of the ball game, and the no-hitter is out the window. So a nice hand for Nastasi, Nastrini, I mean. Pitch was just a little bit up. And McKisson deposited in right field. He's aboard with one away. So a no-hitter through five and a third for Nostrini. And the first pitch is popped up, and that'll get out of play. 
No balls and a strike, one out, bottom of the sixth. Cougars with a runner on. They trail the Foresters eight to nothing. Austin, Texas Lone Star Baseball lead the Hayes Larks two to nothing in the top of the fifth over in Hutch. A little bit of a surprise there. And the 0-1s in the dirt. Boy, Cardenas blocked that one nicely. That hit about three feet in front of home plate. Can't really say a ball in the dirt because there's no dirt down there. So if you want dirt, you have to bring your own. One ball, one strike. They shade him towards right field. A lot of room down the line and left. That's in there for a strike, one and two. Hamilton 0 for 2, a couple of strikeouts. One strike away from getting fitted with a golden sombrero. That just missed in inside, tried to back him up. It's 2-2. Two, two. two balls, two strikes, one away, runner at first. Bottom six in the pitch. That is bounced left side. And McLean will get it back to second for one, over to first, and they turn it. So Santa Barbara with the 5-4-3 twin killing, and that'll do it. We have played six. Our score, eight to nothing, Foresters. This is the 86th NBC World Series powered by Evergy. We'll be right back. And welcome back. We go to the seventh. Looks like they will go to the bullpen. Cougars will go with Juan Familia. Based on what we can see, boy, those uniforms are really hard to see the numbers with the digital camo. So it is Juan Familia out of Reading, Pennsylvania, University of Rio Grande, 5'10", 180-pounder. And that almost hit him. And it did. So Young will lead it off. He'll wear it. So it'll bring up Christian Encarnacion.
No pitching numbers for Familia. He is out of Cabrini University. In 2019, he played in 12 games, hit 174. So he is listed as a outfielder. Now here's Encarnacion, and it's one and one. Top of the seventh, and it is eight to nothing. Here's the one one that is fouled away. So Familia, very quick worker, also. Ball and two strikes, nobody out. Christian in Canarcion. Two for three, a couple of runs scored. Had a homer in the fifth and a double in the first. He's out of Yavapai. Temperature now hovering right at 70 degrees, no wind. It's usually about 85, and the wind's blowing out of the south. Same temperature as a blast furnace. So we'll take it here in southern Kansas. Stays this cool this long, we'll need to play some football. Here's the one, too. That is bounce foul left side. Last year during this tournament, the third base dugout was under construction. It is done now, and it is gorgeous. That is bounce left side. Priest up with it to second for one, back to first. And the throw is high and up the line. So Young is erased. And there's one away. So Encarnacion will reach on the fielder's choice. Here's Brandon Bossier. Hitless tonight, 0 for 3 out of Arizona. Hit 327 for the Wildcats. And the pitch. That is fouled away left side. Shockers used to be in the first base dugout, but since they redid the third base dugout and the clubhouse, and the Academic Enhancement Center. Everything is over there on the third base side. It's quite a bit wider. And very nice. And the 01 is fouled away. It's 02. So Familia is pounding the zone, which is exactly what the Cougars need him to do. No balls, two strikes. That's in the dirt. And down to second base is Encarnacion. He will be in there on the wild pitch. So a good read by Encarnacion. Read the baseball in the dirt. Top of the fifth over in Hutch. Hayes and the Austin, Texas Lone Star Club all tied at two. So the Lark's getting on the board. That is low. And it's two balls and two strikes to Bossier. Cardenas is next. Eight to nothing, Foresters. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. That is bounced right side. Pennington stays with it, got an in-between hop. He'll take it himself, and there's two away.
So Encarnacion down to third base. That'll bring up Noah Cardenas. One for one, a walk and a hit by his pitch, and a run scored in the fourth out of UCLA. So Familia trying to stop the bleeding here in the seventh. And the fastball in there at 88 catches the outside corner, strike one. No balls and a strike, two away, runner to third base. That's inside. I backed him off a little, which is kind of a lost art, by the way. One ball, one strike, familiar trying to get out of a little jam. That is down the line, foul. So Cardin is way out ahead of that one. Just out of reach of Priest at third base. It's one and two. Ball and two strikes, two away. Familia goes to the rosin bag. He's ready. Here it is. That's swung on and missed, and he'll get out of it. So the Foresters strand one. We've played six and a half. Our score, eight to nothing Foresters. This is the 86th NBC World Series powered by Evergy. We'll be right back. Little God bless America for you. Stand by. That's NBC Hall of Famer Mike Dean. God bless America on the harmonica. We'll be right back for the bottom right after this.
And welcome back. We go to the home half of the seventh. New arm for the Foresters. Looks like number 40, a tall, lanky right-hander. That's all we know. There is nothing else on the roster. He will face two, three, and four for the Cougars, Torrance, Turner, and Priest. No balls and a strike to Torrance. Hitless today, 0 for 2. That is fouled out of play. No balls, two strikes. Nobody on. Home half of the seventh. Eight to nothing, Foresters. And the off-speed pitch misses just a bit low, and it's one and two. Pretty good 0-2 pitch. Tough one to take. We are working on this number here. We'll figure out who this guy is. Just hang tight. We got our best people on it. Torrance out of Southwest Baptist. Hit 240 last spring. Hitting 221 this summer. And that is bounced foul left side. So a mystery right-handed pitcher now in the ballgame took over for Nick Nostrini. He went six strong, gave up one hit, and struck out 11. And that's in there for a strike, and Torrance will watch it. It's his second strike out of the ballgame. There's one away. Here's Matt Turner. He is hitless today. A couple of strikeouts. So it looks like it's Alex Boschers. That is Boschers. Thank you. He's lo listed as number 35 on the roster. He's out of Nashville, Tennessee. Kind of a unique story on him. Had to do a little bit of time looking him up. And it's 0-2. He's been in independent ball since 2015. His last stop in Sioux Falls in 2019, he was 6-9 and in a 6.20 ERA. That is Nick Boschers. And it's 1-2. And the one two is up the middle for a base hit. And Turner is aboard in his first hit of the evening. So here's Steve Priest, 0 for 2. Strikeout victim in the fourth. He's out of Cabrini. Eight to nothing, Foresters. We're in the bottom half of the seventh. Runner at first base. That's Turner. And the first pitch is sliced into the Santa Barbara dugout. Pay attention over there, kids. There was a young lady standing over there on the railing, and she has decided to take cover. Smart lady. No balls and a strike. Off-speed pitch is bounced foul, and it's 0-2. Priest hitting 407 this summer. Some nice numbers. Still looking for that first base hit of the evening. No balls, two strikes. Snap throw down to first, not in time. Throw was a little bit high from Cardenas. Priest 
Priest, the third baseman, takes an off-speed pitch inside, and it's 2-2. And the pitch, that is sprayed foul right side. So a good battle by Priest. That is a broken bat. He'll need a new piece of wood. And don't forget our broken bat sponsor, hookbats.com and fine hardwoods. So Priest with a new piece of wood. I know a guy, by the way. He's busy at the moment. Count is 2-2. Two, two. One out, runner at first. That is bounced left side. McLean up with it to second for one, back to first. And the Foresters turn it, and that'll do it for the Cougars. We've played seven. Our score, 8 to nothing, Foresters. This is the 86th NBC tournament powered by Evergy. We'll be right back. And welcome back. Here's your totals. We have a run rule victory for the Foresters. They run seven hits, no errors. And for the Denver Cougars, no runs, only a couple of hits and no errors. Nick Destrini and Alex Boschers will combine for a two-hitter. Destrini will be credited with the win. And the Santa Barbara Foresters will advance. They will play Thursday right here. They'll play the Liberal BJs. And the Denver Cougars will play tomorrow. They'll play the Hattiesburg, Mississippi Black Sox. Andrew Corso will be saddled with the loss. Don't forget that this broadcast brought to you by MedZone is the official hand sanitizer of the NBC World Series. MedZone supplied all the teams and coaches in the World Series with a swag bag of sports medicine products. They are proud supporters of college baseball and the NBC World Series. Go to www.medzone.net to learn more. Hey, that's going to be it for us. A quick one tonight. Again, 8 to nothing, Foresters. And um, now the Cougars have a loss. They are 1-1 one and one in the tournament. And the Foresters go to 1-0. and oh. Again, our final here from X Stadium, 8 to nothing, Santa Barbara. Appreciate everybody tuning in. And for Andrew and the gang, I'm Todd Hook, and this is all for me tonight, and we will see you next time.